I have no idea why I brought my camera to work today, but uh, look at that sky. Been a long time since I've done a work video. Oh my, oh my. You know, this is sunrise, and I bet this is just gonna last a minute or two. Hey, how's it going there? But, uh, anyhow, always cheers me up when I think of you guys. I'm having one of those days I should have stayed home in bed, you know? Oh my god. So, now that it's uh, gotten to be fall, weather's cooled down a little bit. Gotta catch up with some of this cooling tower maintenance. And, uh,. I just can't get my stuff together today. So I'll show you what I'm doing out here in the towers. I should put some gloves on. I don't like to uh, even touch any of this stuff. Been back and forth all day. Developed a leak in this uh, distribution box. I'll show you. If anybody's got any ideas on uh, another way of fixing this, uh, leave me a comment. Hang on there. Uh, I'm in and out of this thing all day. It's wearing me out. This is what the inside of one of the cooling towers looks like. And uh, you can see all this uh, looks like a science project. They got this green algae growing everywhere. And that's just because the, the chemicals that we put in to prevent that don't get into this part of the, the tower here. Because this is, uh, it just kind of gets misted. It doesn't really get sprayed with chemical, all that stuff, all the water. Don't you love it? Even going up and down this ladder. Oh, I tell ya. I must be... I must be meaner than the bugs that are in that stuff because I don't like being around it. It's one of the uh, nastier parts of the job that comes with the territory. When the sun, it's the sun that activates it. The sunlight makes things grow. I've heard that even inside the darkest parts of a nuclear reactor, stuff wants to grow. This water's been spraying all over here. Okay, so we got a steel pipe that comes up from down below. It's about 12 inches. Goes into this ABS plastic distribution box and Right down here in the corner, you can see this dark spot here, all along in here. And what I've been trying to do, I was successful in the past, just taking a plain old soldering pencil and turning it on. And all I did was was just kind of work it like a like I was welding. And you can see it here; it's still. I don't know if I can get it in the, see what I'm doing. I'm trying to, just trying to, it's hard to uh, look at the viewfinder. I didn't realize that I had left this plugged in, but every time I turn the pump on, and of course it's that big 125 horsepower pump, there's so much water coming through here with so much force. So. Anyhow, let's try to get this side bolts in the way don't exactly make it any easier. I'm, I'm ho 
opened it. It just started out as a hairline crack and was spraying out, but I was watching Darren repair bumpers on cars. And that also gave me the idea that, hey, I could do this with a soldering gun. So Darren, thank you. And you know, we are watching and we are learning and you might just think it's day to day bullshit, but look at me, I'm here, not anything to do with a car and using stuff that you showed. And I uh, appreciate that, appreciate that. Manufacturer, I don't know how much this thing is, but you know it's going to be expensive. Now, I got this piece of pneumatic tubing. I'm going to try to use it like a filler rod. And I'm not sure what that stuff is that you put on the bumper for filler, but I doubt if, you know, for cosmetics holding paint on, I think it'd be all right. But this has got to hold back pressure. So, I don't know. I can't really clamp anything onto it in the corner. I tried making that piece of sheet metal there and putting it on the bolts to divert the spray, but it's got to be fixed. I got to turn you off. I need two hands. Well, the next thing is to get suited up and get in here with the power washer and uh, start power washing all this nasty stuff off. I don't know what it means when it starts turning black. But that's got to be bacteria of some kind. Can't be good for you. But look how many of us work in environments that got garbage. That's just the way it is, huh? What are you going to do? Well, sometimes the best part of the day is when the bell rings and go back out to Rusty. I'm tempted to take the long way home. Weather's nice, but I shouldn't have got out of bed this morning. Everything I touched turned to garbage.